Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you are watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video in Photoshop, we are going to see how to create a duotone kind of effect using the threshold adjustments. We are not really going to create duotone effect but pretty much similar to that effect. Duotone means the effect consisting of only two colors. So for that, we will first see what happens if we apply threshold to any image. So basically threshold, what threshold does, if we take this slider to the left, it increases the white area and if we take it to the right, it increases the black area. And we just have to keep the balance so that the image itself is recognizable. But for some images, it looks good. So for instance, this particular images, it is looking decent, but for some images, uh, it won't give us the satisfactory result. So using this uh, method that I'm going to tell you right now, we can create some really cool duotone kind of effect. So I'll press undo, control Z or command Z if you're using Mac. So what I'll do is I'm going to duplicate this particular image using control J or command J. So duplicate and I'm going to convert this into a smart object. There is a reason. Uh, that I converted this into a smart object so that whatever adjustments that we will apply on this particular layer we can change the value later on even when we apply adjustments layer we can change the values so the values or the adjustment they are not affecting the layer directly they are only applied to the smart object itself so so I have already converted into a smart object then I'm going to apply adjustments and the threshold effect. So, so for the first step, we are going to take it to the very left side, to the extreme left, maybe to 30, so that the image itself, it is not recognizable. So I'm going to press OK. Remember the value, it's around 30, so 29 to be precise. And I'll press OK now. We are going to keep the opacity of this particular layer to 100%. So just for our convenience, I am going to rename the layer to 100. Just remember, if you want to rename any layer, simply click on the double click on the text. So we can rename the name, rename the layer. So 100% opacity. Now I am going to duplicate this particular layer again, Control J or Command J. Now. We will change the opacity to 75, so I will first name it to 75, but we also need to change the threshold value and remember, for the last layer, we kept the threshold value to 30, I think 29 to be precise, now it's 29 already we can see. Now I am going to take it a bit towards the right, maybe around 70, so 68 looks good to me. and. We also have to change the opacity to 75. Okay, this is really good. Now again, I'm going to press Ctrl J and I'm going to rename it to 50% because we are going to keep the opacity of this particular layer to 50. Again, I'm going to double click on this particular threshold effect and I'm going to increase it again, maybe around 95, let's say 95. Okay, and we have to change the opacity. Don't forget to change the opacity 50 now one more layer control j last layer and we are going to keep the opacity to 25 now before that we have to change the threshold value so maybe maybe 123 and what is the benefit of the smart object if you are not happy or satisfied with the final result we can always go and change the threshold value of any layer because all these layers are smart object. So that is the benefit of smart object. So I'm going to change the opacity to 25 again. So this is looking pretty good, but it is not looking like a, looking like some painting or some threshold effect. It is basically looking like a black and white photograph. So if you want to change, slightly change the appearance of this particular image, we can go to threshold and we can increase the value threshold value so because of this effect it is looking much like a portrait or a painting or a duotone effect maybe 
I'll zoom it a little bit. Control plus or command plus. Maybe a little bit more. Now, yes, it is looking pretty good to me. So instead of looking like a black and white photograph, this is looking pretty much different like a pencil drawing maybe or pencil sketch or some threshold kind of an effect. So this is what, will, uh, this is what basically we can do using the threshold options multiple times and if you are still looking for some changes or if you are still not satisfied with the result, you can always change all the values from all the layers like this. Okay. Now that is not all. If you want to add some color, as I said earlier, duotone. Duotone means two color. If you want to add color, then you can simply use hue saturation adjustment layer. But remember to click on the top layer first and go to hue saturation and click on the colorize option and then you can and increase the saturation. Remember saturation is the amount of color and you can simply choose whatever color you like. So this is what basically it looks like after using threshold option multiple times. It really looks nice. Some really cool effect using the threshold option. So if you are not satisfied with the threshold option with only one layer, you can try the threshold option with the multiple layers and you will get some, uh, some result, something like this. And you can always try different value for different layers. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye and cheers.